First Lady Jill Biden in New York City today, spending some time in a city school. Pick Sun's Colorama live for us at PS 83 in the Bronx with uh, what went down. Kyle. Corey and Tamsin, Dr. Jill Biden spent about an hour with more than two dozen teachers empathizing with them about how hard it was to come back to school teaching in the building in full classrooms during a pandemic. As she left PS 83, take a look. In the Bronx here on Bogart Avenue, I was able to yell from right behind her Secret Service, Hey, how was your day in the Bronx? And she gave me a big thumbs up and said it went great. The First Lady even bring the teachers cookies to show her appreciation today. And as a lifelong educator, she went to PS 83, the Donald Hertz School here in the Bronx, to thank these elementary school teachers in person, letting them know that she knows the difficulties firsthand by her experience in community college going back this year as well. Listen. From the bottom of my heart, from doing, for doing what you do every single day, it only takes one person to believe in you. One. And that's what we do for our kids. So thank you. Again. New York City schools have been back to in person learning for just about over a month now. And these teachers, all coming out of this school, all had a grin ear to ear today. I mean, it meant the world to them, most of them told me, to have the first lady say, Good job. And I understand how hard your days are. We spoke with a kindergarten teacher who said, It's just nice to know that the first lady really understands what she's going through because she is a lifelong teacher as well. Listen, this is what Tiffany had to say very real, very genuine. She made us all feel very comfortable. Um, it was a great feeling knowing that she understands what we're going through because she herself is a teacher. You can hear the empathy in her voice, right? Yes. yes. Just her whole aura. <laughs> what does it mean when the first lady comes to a school in the Bronx and says, good job? It's an amazing feeling because, you know, we hear it from the parents, we hear it from our students, but hearing it from the first lady, and just like I said, being that she understands what we're going through as teachers. It's, it's just, it's so much more. So much more. A good job starting with the first lady. That's a pretty amazing day for this teacher. And then we talked to Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez before she went into the event, just saying that it meant a lot that the first lady chose the Bronx. This is an area with a low vaccination rate. This is an area where so many families were hit hard by the pandemic, and so many families are dealing with mental health issues, something that the first lady focused on, saying it's so important that we be there for our children, especially right now in what's going to be a very tough school year ahead.